Good evening, distinguished platform guests, faculty, staff, friends, family, parents, and graduates. It is my pleasure and privilege to address you as this year's valedictorian. I'd like to start by saying how sorry I am for not being able to be with you in person on one of the most important days of our lives. I've been given a very special opportunity to study overseas in Scotland, which is why I can't physically be here. But I want you all to know that I'm with you in spirit, as well as in digital media. There's no place I'd rather be this evening, and I only wish I could give you this speech in person. I want Graduates, I want to thank you for giving me the privilege and honor of speaking on your behalf. I would appreciate it if you could make this easy on me and laugh and applaud after everything I say. Or at least tell me you did. By the way, I'd like to compliment you all on the attires you're wearing this evening. You're looking very sharp. Not long ago, we were playing in the sandbox. At that time, life was good. The thought of getting older and moving on never crossed our minds. Then we started grade 9 at BDSS. We met new friends and had new experiences. We got involved in many of the clubs and teams BDSS had to offer. Grades 10, 11, and 12 followed quickly, and here we are today with the diploma in hand ready to embark on one of the most important experiences of our lives, our future. We all know it will take hard work to accomplish our dreams, but we can do it. We've had great parents and teachers helping and teaching us along the way. To all the parents, congratulations. I know how much fun many of you are having now that your children are out of the house. But before you think, this is it, they're leaving home for good, think again, we still need you. We'll be back on weekends and on school breaks to get some home cooked meals, and just for nostalgia's sake, we'll be bringing you a nice, big pile of laundry to wash. This journey started when we were little. You packed our lunches, you helped us with homework, and you did whatever else was needed in order to help us succeed. You taught us many things, and for these we are grateful. Fortunately, others helped too, our friends and our teachers. I believe it was Mr. Miyagi in The Karate Kid who said, there is no such thing as bad student, only bad teacher. Well, considering how amazing this graduating class is, I would say to all the teachers, you did a great job. We could not have asked for a better bunch of Mr. Miyagi's to learn from, and I'm sure you all learned something from each of us as well. We all grew from the good times we had, and of course, the not so good times. Every so often, a few students came to school in a ridiculous outfit that had the writing Schulte Rules on it, owing to a previous bet they had just lost. But the determination we had never stopped us from making another bet, even though that was often lost as well. Our teachers have been more than simply our teachers. They have become our mentors, and in some cases, our friends. You taught us more than just math and science in class. Someday, I urge you to ask Mr. Pello about his embarrassing failure at pole vaulting. His experience taught me to think before I leap, and not to do what he did. Teachers, you believed in us when others did not. You saw potential in us when that we could not yet see. And you never gave up on us, even when we gave up on ourselves. You inspired us to become who we are. Thank you. Fellow graduates, as of now we are considered adults. Adulthood can be uncertain and overwhelming at times, but that does not mean we'll be unprepared for what it has to bring. You know why? because we are bucks, and bucks fly together. We will maybe be leaving these school walls behind, but the memories and friendships made here will endure forever. All of us are moving off in our own direction. Some of us have returned for further studies, others into the workforces, and the rest of us have gone to university or college. Here, we will be on our own for the most part. Our parents and teachers cannot go with us. Their support and guidance will always be available to us when we need it but the next step we must take on our own. These steps may lead us down the wrong path at times. However, these obstacles can be overcome with the lessons we have learned here. And in that sense, we will be bucks forever. I want to conclude by thanking my classmates. If it was not for you all, I would not be here. You have made these last few years some of the best of my life, and I am proud to graduate with each and every one of you on this day that celebrates our accomplishment. So today's our day, Bucks a day where we can forget about upcoming exams and lectures and think about the great times we had together and a chance to look forward to the great times ahead. But this is not the end, which is why I'm not going to say goodbye. It is only the beginning of our lives where we can start to live out our dreams. The dreams that started at Beamsville District Secondary School. So for now, I'm going to say
Congratulations, class of 2011. I'll see you laddies and lassies at the reunion.